Hey guys, look who we have back here. We have the wonky donkey man himself. <laughs> it's Mr Craig Smith. Wonderful, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Susie. It's awesome to be here. Yeah, now, he's the loveliest guy in the world, <laughs> but he writes really scary books. <laughs> ah, the yes. scariest thing in the garden. Yes. Yeah? What well, is it? Well, spoiler alert. Oh. I couldn't tell you. Um, <laughs> maybe you'll have to pick up the book and have a read. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go and get this book if you haven't seen it. The pictures are absolutely gorgeous. Scott Tullock has done an amazing job. On, in fact, there was a, a, an illustrator um, critic who said that this, they think this is Scott Tullock's best work. Oh, really? He's done lots and lots of work. Of, look at the eyes. Yeah. What creature is that? <laughs> is it an animal? Is it an insect? Or is it something else? It almost looks alien. It does look a bit mm, alien. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, there's some very cool creatures on the back as well. Yes. I take it they're in the book. They are in the book. There's lots of little creatures in the book that are uh, afraid of each other. Mm. Yes, or scared of each other, I should say. Yeah. Something else that's in this book, which I'm fascinated by, the CD. Yes. Now, have you noticed, Craig, when he puts a book out, has a CD in the back mm -hmm. with the song and the I story. I always write my stories yeah. in song. Yeah, Brilliant. I've thought about doing um, other song, uh, other stories with music involved in it, and mm -hmm. doing a story and then and adding music, kind of like Spike Milligan did with Bad Jelly the oh, Witch. Oh yeah. But um, but I want to do that in the future. But I haven't done that yet. All of my stories currently have music. Watch this space. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. How many books have you got out now? Uh, there's um, eight books, but seven that I've written, and then one that I've written in conjunction with another person. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All I Want for Christmas. All I Want for Christmas. With the two, two front teeth. teeth. Written by Don Gardner in the 1940s. Wow, yeah. so he'll be chuffed that you are <laughs> bringing it to life now. Well, his family will be chuffed. His family is yeah. chuffed, yeah. Oh, and and cool. we've, we've done that one uh, a few years ago. And uh, it was one of my favourites when I was a kid, because mm. my mum used to sing that to me. And she's got a false tooth, and she'd pop her tooth out halfway through the song to make me laugh. Are you familiar with the song? All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. That's it. Two front teeth. And it's very, very cool. And we're going to be playing it as part of the very special Christmas show on Susie and Friends radio show. Um, I'll put a link to the website down below so you can find where that is. And Craig will be joining us on Christmas Day, so I hope you will too. Very cool. Cool. Yeah. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous book. And... It has a beautiful song with it too. It has a beautiful song. Shall I play a couple of bars mm -hmm. for you? It starts off in a minor chord, mm -hmm. which is very scary. Very scary. Ooh. Once there was a Brussels sprout who was very, very scared. Oh, what was me, said the Brussels sprout. And what do you think scared the sprout so much? The scariest thing in the garden. Do you know what scares a Brussels sprout? Um... An aphid! Huh? <laughs> Once there was an aphid who was very, very scared. Oh, what was me, said the aphid. And what do you think scared the aphid so much? The scariest thing in the garden. Do you know what scares an aphid? What would scare an aphid? A ladybird! <laughs> And the song actually goes on a little bit longer than that. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. A ladybird would scare an aphid. Yeah, did you know that ladybirds eat aphids? No, I did not. Didn't you? That is so cool. Yeah. They eat aphids. And um, so that's why the ladybird is so scary. It's a very scary animal. Oh, look, check out that ladybird. Does that look scary? <laughs> but to the aphid, who is taking off? Ah! Very yeah, it scary. is very scary. Yeah. Gorgeous. So the story goes on with some other creatures in the book. I guess we're going to find out what scares a ladybird. Yes, yep. that's correct. And that is, do you know what this is? Ooh. It's a spider. Mm -hmm. Yes. That gives me the creepy crawly. Ah, spider. <laughs> what are you yeah. scared of in the garden? Anything in particular? How about you? Well, when I was a kid, I used to get um, scared by a couple of things, but I just grew out of that. Sure. And I'm no longer scared of just about anything in the garden. Yeah, well, well done. I'm very brave. Well done. Tell you what, now that I'm a mum, <laughs> I'm less scared of creepy crawly things. I think because you just have to be brave for your kids. Maybe your mum's brave. Maybe yeah. you have to be brave for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is all done uh, in a bit of jest, with a bit of fun. Yeah. So um, it's designed to have a lot of fun. So I hope I hope uh, people who read it and listen to it have a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm sure they will. That 
things aren't really that scary. No. No, no not at all. In fact, all these tiny little things are probably more scared of us than absolutely. we'll ever be of them. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I mean, look yeah. at the size of us. We're huge! <laughs> <laughs> hey, where do we find your book? Well, all good bookstores, yep. of course. Um, and even people can get in touch with me. Um, at, now I've got a new Facebook thing. It's uh, at the Wonky Donkey Man. Oh, they can great. contact me through, they can follow that. And yep. They can contact me and I can send out a signed copy to them if they'd like. But otherwise, just go to Paper Plus or what calls or your local independent bookstore. Excellent. Because yeah. 2018 is going to be pretty busy for you, isn't it? It is. I'm off to Asia. Yeah, I'm going to. So I was in Asia last year, but yep. this year I'm going to China and, oh, sorry, in 2018, China and Vietnam and um, Singapore, Thailand, Japan. Uh, Malaysia, yeah. So we've released whole, all my books over there. Fantastic. Yeah. So are you visiting schools or are you going yes. to... libraries and schools, just like I do here in New Zealand. Tell York. all your friends through Asia. Yeah. The wonky donkey man is coming all the way from New Zealand. He's going to be bringing a friend in his suitcase, not a spider. He's taking me out. <laughs> now, you didn't know that. No, I'm sure you'd yeah. fit in a suitcase, though. Oh, wow, how awesome. That's going to be so much yeah, fun. It's going to be a lot yeah. of fun. I'm looking forward to it next mm. year. Oh, yeah. brilliant. Well, I hope you find time to come and visit us at some stage again next year. Oh, no, yeah. absolutely. I'd, I, every time I'm coming up here, I'm giving you a bell. Excellent. In some way, shape, or Great. form. Great. We'll yeah. get him back in again. How about that? So, Craig Smith's Facebook page is in the description below. His website is in the description below. If you want to check out the last time he came to visit, how about you click on this link here and oh, click on me and subscribe. Yes, please. So you can find out when Craig is coming back. Nice one. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, Sue. Bye. See ya. For more information about Susie and Friends, visit susie.co.nz and join us next week for some more fun. See ya.